Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I got a really exciting episode for you guys, which is installing a GPU into a R810 server, which you can see on my previous video for all the specs and everything. But that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is actually the software that we're going to be testing and using to get the ultra low latency streaming from our server to the desktop. And I had a lot of fun just checking those out and yeah, let's get into it. Now, to begin, I am jumping this video ahead of all my other videos. That's just because this server is still in my studio. So if you hear it in the background, yeah, I have to make this video just to get it out of here. So, but to begin, I had a really good time learning and testing all the software for the streaming service. Um, I've actually been playing for the past couple of days and I am impressed on what it can do. Now for the graphic card we're going to be using is a 750 Ti. That's for one graphic card. And the second graphic card will be a more standard desktop graphic card, which is an ATI 5450. And those both don't require external power or the six pin connector that we uh, normally need for graphic cards. But let's jump into the installation part before I talk about the software. Now to begin, I have the server on my desk right now and I was gonna put the 1070 onto the server, but as you notice, the 1070 is a little bit larger and won't fit in the server. So I'm guessing you do need something like uh, maybe a 220 millimeter or something smaller just to fit in there. But nevertheless, the bigger graphic card still requires a pin connector, which is something I don't have on the server. But there is a mod that you can do to get the 8-pin working, which I will probably be doing in the future. But for now, we are just going to use a standard graphic card like a 750 Ti that doesn't require any external power. And I got really lucky with this graphic card because this is an OEM version of a Dell uh, 750 Ti, which, like I said, doesn't require the 6-pin. For my other graphic card I'm going to be using is ATI 54050 or 5450, which is a standard graphic card you can find on older desktops and I just have some laying around so I just decided to throw that in there for another experiment. Basically I'll have two VMs with graphic cards passed through to it. Now when you are done with all that, jumping over to my desktop, um, I already populated this thing a lot. As you can see I've got most of my servers migrated over, I am using Proxmox and I've installed the latest version. But to get the pass-through working, the first thing we need to do is modify our grub file. So we're gonna go into nano, etc, default, uh, grub, and that's the file you could modify. Now, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to where I got all this information. It's basically right off the Proxmox website. And the only thing you really need to add is Intel IOMMU uh, equals on. Now I try to play around with these other settings for something else that is not needed. I thought I was gonna be able to pass through the graphic card on the uh, actual server, playing around with the idea. So I just left this stuff in here. But for now, all you really need is the Intel underscore IOMMU equals on. And for AMD, they have a different properties for this and you can find it off their website that I have a link down in the description below. Now, once you're done with that, you just have to do update grub, and when you hit enter, it's gonna update grub, reboot the machine, and you're all set. Now, because I've already done this whole section and this whole thing, I don't need to do it anymore, but I will leave this up just to show you guys something. Now, I am gonna connect one of my Linux machines to a graphic card, and let me actually you know what i'll connect the windows 11 and i'll show you i already did this but if you go over to hardware you can actually just hit add pci device and in here you should be able to find your nvidia graphic card or your ati amd graphic card and uh, pass it through but here's the thing about it if you notice that there's 0 0 0 0 e 0 0 dot 0 and there's also a dot 1 because there's a audio or hdmi audio connected through it um, you need to click at least one of these, primary GPU and PCI Express. These are the two settings you need to put in and then you hit add, but you're not done there. As soon as you hit add, what you need to do is actually modify the file. So heading back over to your shell, I'm going to do a nano slash etc slash PVE slash QEMU dash server slash whatever that server is. And I have it on 103. So it's gonna be 103.config. And in here, you have to remove the dot 
zero at the end. So usually it would have been dot zero like this or dot one. Just remove that and you're gonna be able to pass through the entire card. So basically both the settings, the HDMI audio and the video will be passed through. So you have to remove that property. Two, you're also gonna make sure that you are using Q35. This is the only machine type that will actually allow for pass through. So use Q35 on that, which you can also set um, in your Windows 11 settings over here, which is right over here on the machine type. You could just hit edit and Q35 and you could use the version and I'm using version 6.1. Once you're done with that, turn off and turn on the machine and the graphic card will be passed through to the machine. Again, if you're using Proxmox, I, the link down in the description below will be able to guide you through what I just did. It is pretty straightforward. Just remember that you do have to change that little dot one or dot zero property setting so you can pass through the entire card. So with that all in place, that's all you really need to do to get the pass through to work. Now, if you have like something else that you wanna pass through like a network card or something, you don't have to worry about it with the dot zero dot one. It's really just something for a graphic card that has both the audio and the video that you gotta pass through. Now, jumping over to the software, this is the exciting stuff. Uh, we are gonna be testing three pieces of software, which is something I've been searching for for a very long time. And I think because I started this whole uh, graphic card into the server thing, now I got the correct search terms, you could say, but I've always wanted to pass through um, ultra low latency graphics like I'm physically sitting in front of the computer uh, from my server to a, a desktop. And one of the drawbacks was there was never anything for Linux, but I found something for Linux, which is great. Let's talk about the software now. The, fir the first one we're gonna be testing is called Moonlight. Now, if you're familiar with this, this requires uh, NVIDIA graphic card, uh, 650 and above. So 750 the, uh, Ti works perfect for this. And uh, NVIDIA actually has like some sort of chip built in where it actually decodes and encodes the stream over through the network that makes it very, very fast for streaming wise, especially for games or for anything that's uh, video related. And Moonlight is open source software that takes advantage of that. So you might be familiar with NVIDIA Shield and that's what that uh, setting is really built for. So NVIDIA has this little thing built in that could stream stuff to the NVIDIA Shield or even if you use Steam Link, that uses the same property. But again, Moonlight takes advantage of that and, and this open source software allows you to intercept that signal and use it for a Linux desktop, Android phones, any device basically that you could install Moonlight on would work, Mac OS and stuff like that. Anyway, to get this, what you need to do is um, head over to the repositories. Uh, Moonlight QT is probably the one I want. That's exactly what I need. That's the uh, client end software. And I am gonna download this actually for my Ubuntu right now, which I've never done yet. This is brand new. So I'm, the setting wise, you're gonna see the whole property settings and everything. Uh, so I'm gonna download this for now and set that up in a second. So I'm gonna save that. Now the second piece of software that we're also gonna be looking into is called Sunshine. This is new to me. Um, I've actually never played around with this before this, but this is Linux compatible. And it also uses the Moonlight client. So what this actually does, Sunshine, is if you got an AMD graphic card or Intel graphic card or a NVIDIA graphic card, um, it is able to use the MP4 decoder and encoder to send the stream over through the network. And it works for Windows, Linux. And the biggest thing about it is because it works on Linux, it actually works really well. So Sunshine is another software that I've been playing with. You just need to install the server software, which is this 0.1.11.1 over to the Linux machine or whatever machine you're trying to run this on. And, oh, actually it doesn't support Mac, does it? No, it doesn't. I'll take that back. It supports Windows and Linux, which is more than enough for me. But yes, um, you have to install this soft server software. And as far as the client software to the receiving end, you just need to install Moonlight. So it basically in intercepts that. It's like a fork of Moonlight, but the server setting part. Now, the last one that I've tested, which is new to me as well, which is Rainway. Rainway also does the same thing that uh, Sunshine does, which takes uh, AMD graphic card or NVIDIA or Intel, uses the hardware MP4 encoder and decoder to send ultra low latency video streaming or video gaming and stuff like that over to your desktop. 
But the other thing about this is that it doesn't require a client software. You can actually run this entire thing off your browser, which is one less piece of software that you have to install. The only downside to Rainway is that it requires you to make an account. To use Moonlight, that also requires you to create an account because you have to create an account using the NVIDIA experience. So if you are at the type where you don't want to create any accounts for anything, Sunshine is probably what you want to look at because Sunshine does not require you to create any accounts. It just works between the Moonlight client and the Sunshine, Sunshine server. Is that enough information for you guys? I know I'm, I'm jumping right into this, but I'll leave all the links to these three down in the description below, but I'm going to show you a demo of all three of them so you can see um, which one you want to go for. So far, I am in love with the Rainway, even though I have to create an account, but it actually works similar to like Team Viewer, where you could select the computer you want to view. You have the remote desktop and it's fast. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Rainway doesn't require a graphic card. Like you could use it with a graphic card, but they also have software encoding, which is not the greatest, but works. I mean, you will get the little um artifacts and stuff like that when it's trying to stream a full screen video but otherwise the responsiveness still works you are still able to move just as fast as if you're if you're sitting in front of the desktop anyway to jump into it let's get moonlight working which i just downloaded recently and it's an app image so basically i could just run it right off um here i think let me see what it's called uh, moonlight app image uh, i do have to turn it into uh executable so I went over to my downloads folder, chmod, and I'm gonna turn Moonlight into executable and run that app image. App images are great because you don't have to actually install uh, anything. It just runs off any Ubuntu or any Linux distribution. Uh, they also have a snap package. They have flat packs. Uh, they have a deb if you wanted to, but okay. Now that we got this installed, one of the prerequisites, prerequisites, requirements, is that you have some sort of remote session with the actual desktop itself. Now, you can't use RDP because RDP has a weird graphic card or display card issue, so you can't use RDP. You have to use something like a VNC. So I already pre-installed VNC onto my Windows 11 machine. So this is the Windows 11 machine that I'm gonna be testing this on. So I'm gonna click on here and it's gonna give me a passcode. You see, enter 4332 in your game streaming PC. So because I have it already set up, I'm gonna VNC into my Windows machine right now. And you see how the Nvidia Shield would pop up with the experience and it's asking you to get that uh, number. I am gonna grab that number because I don't remember it. So it's 4332 and connect. Now all of a sudden, now my Moonlight, this would be unlocked. You see that, it just went away. I could click on that, and now I have the stuff that I set up. Remote Desktop, Steam, Yuzu. Now normally, uh, Steam would be the only option that would show up because I have a Steam client in here. So what you have to do is actually head over to your GeForce experience. Actually, you know what? I am gonna show you this on the Remote Desktop version of Moonlight. So let me uh, close out of this, close out of this, close out of my VNC, jump into the Remote Desktop and show you how smooth everything runs just like using the Moonlight client. Now, there are settings here because it's gonna full screen my screen right away. You could set it so it's a window mode. You could set it so, actually, yeah. You could set it as a window mode. You could set it as, um, if you got multiple desktops, you could change other settings to it. I'm gonna leave it as window mode, but you could see right now the setting is actually reduced scale to 420. So what I want to do, I think, is uh, quit out of this real quick. So it's shift control alt Q. There are hot keys that you can look up Go back into the setting prompt changes over to a 1080 uh, You can optimize if you're gonna use this for remote desktop You can optimize the remote mouse. It's up to you There is some lagginess if you are using the mouse without it if you're just using it as a standard desktop, but I did change it to 1080 and I am gonna go back and hit play again and it should rescale everything that you need to 1080. Oh, there you go. Look how sharp it is now. So my, my server is starting to kick up right now because it knows it's trying to use the GPU. Now that I have this going, jumping back into the GeForce experience, you do have to have this installed. You do have to be logged into it. So you do have to make an account with Nvidia. Like I said, one of those things that you, if you want to avoid, you don't have to use GeForce experience and you could use uh, Sunshine instead. 
But what you need to do here is after you open this application, go into settings, go into games and apps, oh, actually shield, go into shield, hit add. And in here, you want to go into windows, system 32 and look for MS or no MSTSC there you go MSTSC which is Microsoft Terminal Service Client you want to click that and hit open which I already have so I don't know if it's going to give me an error but it won't even go in that's what the remote desktop is I had to add that special app just to get the remote desktop working which is what you see right here now I just spun this window around and you can see how smooth that is audio also passes through perfectly fine uh, so I'm going to show you with a YouTube video. So let's go to youtube.com. Uh, you know that the graphic card is working just because you see these rounded edges. On Windows 11, if you don't have a graphic card working, uh, the edges don't round off. So that alone tells you that it is working on the GPU. I already went in here. I don't know why I did that. So anyway, I'm going to go into YouTube. Let's go into Nova Spirit Tech. And we'll just play one of our videos. Uh, what is this one? The, hey guys, yeah, here I could do this one. So I'll play this one. And today we are going to be installing the. Click on that. When and we were kids, Superman as you can see, here. look, this is an one ad that's playing that on my video. Do, and, and let me dismiss this what, offer. I'm going to full screen this ad. This is streaming this, uh, right off uh, Moonlight. And, Onto Amazon my desktop other, from my uh, from my server, so this cool device connects pretty impressive. I'm gonna skip this ad and jump to using the open Android Pro what is it? 11 minute car. part. So let's get what started. What is it? Is it like right here, where I'm spraying all the stuff? I got my ads going. This is full screen, guys. And watch, I'm gonna lower the screen, let this go, and look, I'm moving the desktop around and it's still as smooth. You see that? This is very impressive. Playing games also works just as good. So I'm gonna pop into a game real quick. And I have something that actually might play pretty well. So I'm gonna go into my libraries and play Rebel Galaxy right here. And jump into that. I'm just gonna play with that launcher. I think I have it in a window mode because I was testing something else out, but just for the sake of showing you guys how games work, uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw works fine. I was able to play League of Legends on here. League of Legends doesn't really take much uh, GPU, so installing and playing League of Legends through here wasn't too bad. Now, this graphic card is not the best for this game. Um, this game does take a little bit of a GPU. Um, it does, you know, beat up the GPU a little bit, but I will show you how well it works. Now, there we have it. This is streaming at 35 frames per second. And if you connected a joystick or Xbox controller, you could use the Xbox controller right through Moonlight. And I'm gonna go into flight training and check that out. Welcome to flight this is training streaming one, again. Brought to you by off my Star server Beer. onto Reach my Linux desktop star. using Red Moonlight. Star. All right, now I'm not gonna tease you anymore with Moonlight close this out and I'm going to show you the Nix software that we have installed on this. So I'm going to do shift control alt Q, jump out of that one. And the Nix piece of software that I'm going to be able to show you is on the same desktop. I'm going to be using Rainway. So to get in Rainway, I'm going to leave a link there and you could go for looking for Rainway gaming on the bottom left, get Rainway. And there's a software that you need to install, which I already installed and then view Rainway apps. You can actually download the mobile app for your Android or iPhone. You can run this off your TV, your Mac OS, but mainly if you're on any PC, you need to use it through the browser. So on this browser, um, of course this browser isn't supported, so I am gonna have to use Chrome. And in here, I'm gonna go back to rainway.com. Looking for Rainway Gaming, you do need Chrome. That's a downside to this, I guess. Uh, get Rainway, uh, open your new tab to this. You do need to make an account. Once you're signed in, any computer that you have it connected to uh, will have it pop up. Now, I do have it connected to the same desktop that you were just looking at before. So I'm going to close out of that. 
moonlight property so nothing's running in the background and in here I am just gonna click on the top right and that should stream my desktop so now I am back on the same desktop using a browser called uh, the browser mode and I'm using Rainway um, you could actually full screen everything if you want uh, if you go control shift O it brings up the option and you could actually release your mouse so it doesn't get locked into it but mostly if you're playing games you want it to lock into your browser so you could use the edging but that is very, very impressive. Now I'm gonna show you, I should have left the uh, YouTube working. Here we have YouTube. I think Rainway has a little crackle with sound sometimes. So it's not the best experience I was getting with Rainway, but being able to use it through the desktop was, I mean, through any computer or through anything that supports Chrome. You could even have an older computer or a Chromebook stream right off your server. So as you can see, I'm just running through some ads. It's very smooth. I'm doing full screen right now and it's still just as smooth. And you could expect this to be the same, similar to with the game that we were just playing. And there we have it. This is a full screen video of what I'm doing. I'm not sure, I can't hear the audio because I disabled it on my desktop, it doesn't feed back, but let me know if you are hearing any crackles in this, but it, ultimately it works really, really well. Really well. That's the two software just Rainway and Moonlight. What I'm gonna show you next is Moonlight hooked up to uh, my Linux machine that has the ATI 5450 on there. Now for the Sunlight software that we are testing, you do have to install it ahead of time into the Linux machine. Just to run you through the release real quick, head over to their wiki, go into quick start, and in Sunshine, uh, this will actually give you all the things that you need to do, like the pin, uh, how to connect, after you installed, you know, basically everything you need to know is in here. And to install, you just need to download their project and install the Debian. So if I go into Sunshine, go into releases, it's down here and you can just install the Debian file and you should be all good. And from here, what I'm gonna do is make sure that it is running, unable to connect. Let's give that a shot, there you go. It takes a minute to let it get back on so let me go into pin head back into my moonlight click here oh there you go the pin comes up two three five one two three five one send and my moonlight there you go it's unlocked i go in here low desk uh low res desktop steam big picture or desktop i'm going to stream my desktop i could close out of this vnc now again remember you have to keep that vnc uh, setting for the back end just to set this up the first time now once I have it this is it this is using moonlight service and I since I have an ATI um, graphic card or AMD graphic card I am using the VAPP or VAAPI encoder or VAAPI encoder uh, just to get this uh, function working or else if you don't have a graphic card installed using sunshine it won't even kick on it won't let you uh, uh, boot in you could use a software encoder over here it didn't work for me. Um, I think I have the wrong settings or I need something else set up, but I was able to install a graphic card to get it working anyway. If you guys have better luck using the software, let me know down in the description, uh, description below, but the software encoder should work. But just to show you guys, um, here's YouTube Nova Spirit Tech. I think I have issues with the audio for this. And I think because I don't have an audio card installed on my VM or a sound card installed in my VM, it's it's acting up really weird. But Kid Superman here we go. Was our hero. One Watching of the, uh, the our ad. Sensors can do, uh, I am going to full screen this ad. What you see here we are watching a full screen ad through Linux now. This, uh, this is the first time I ever had Linux run, run this smooth off a remote desktop. Hey guys, Don here from Nova This Spirit is Tech, now running my video. Today, we are going to be installing the... Thanks, this is the Love same you. properties that you were Hi. seeing before. Hi. Um the Android Auto, everything is working. And I am impressed. I do feel that uh Sunshine is a little bit laggy, maybe because it's not using the NVIDIA uh, hardware decoder, which is I think a lot smoother, and using ATI's uh hardware MP4 encoder decoder. But ultimately this is very impressive. Like it works. And there we have it. Those are the three pieces of software that works really well with ultra low latency um, streaming. And also I've tested this over the network. So I actually was in a different location that 
has Internet VPN at home. And here are the three same software, but over the Internet. And you could see that for Moonlight, it works pretty good. I mean, it will reduce the quality when it needs to on certain things. And you do see a little bit of lag when you're playing uh, the game itself right over here. In the end of the day, if you're just using this for a remote desktop, it actually works really well. Works just as well on Rainway. And I actually like this whole entire internet property because actually for Rainway, I did not use, need to use the VPN. I could just log into the website and get the streaming service right over the internet and click the computer that I want to play around with. So I know this video has gone a little bit too long. I, I'm just super excited that all these three services work and the graphic card works with my server very well. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. I will leave all the links to everything I tested in this video down in the description below as well. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.